This video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclist. When looking for the ultimate assortment of premium road and mountain bike products from the top brands, consider checking out CompetitiveCyclist.com. Hey guys, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider. And there's a trend I've been noticing going on in the mountain bike community, and it's one I fell into pretty hard when I first started riding. And that is, we get so hyper-focused on making sure that our bikes are totally kitted out and up to date, that a lot of people tend to skimp on the important details that actually keep them safe so they can continue to ride their bike. I'm a little embarrassed to admit to you guys that I spent way more energy upgrading my bike than even thinking about the $20 helmet that I bought at basically a grocery store and the fact that it didn't really keep me safe. Not only that, things like shoes or my shorts or my jerseys, I just used old stuff I had laying around because it wasn't that I didn't think I needed to upgrade or that mountain bike stuff was good quality, it was just that at the end of the day, I didn't give it a high enough priority. So as the channel has grown, I've been able to upgrade my stuff slowly but surely, and I've seen the great value that having the right gear provides for your mountain bike experience. And as the channel has grown, I've been hoping that I'll be able to make enough money or connect with good companies so that I can help people in the mountain bike community get the stuff they need that's gonna protect them and make their ride so much better. And I realize I can't help everyone in this spot, but what if I could totally transform one person and set them up for success for a long time? So I got connected with competitive cyclists and I told them about this one high school student I know named Chris. Chris is a kid who absolutely loves mountain biking and takes all the extra money that he has and pours it directly into his bike at the neglect at his own safety. So when I told competitive cyclists about Chris, they were absolutely stoked to get him everything he needed. So I headed over to their website and started to shop for the essentials Chris would need. While competitive cyclists may look like just another online bike store, they set themselves apart because they're run by people who love bikes as much as we do. They offer hands-on experience, exceptional customer service, and even have an in-house bike assembly operation. Didn't take me long to find everything Chris would need from 510 free riders, Cali protective knee pads, to kind shorts, shirts, and gloves, and even a bell helmet like I have. Competitive Cyclist is also partnering with the channel to bring the stoke to all of you guys for the mountain bike season. Use the code MTBDAILY to get 15% off one full price item so you can pick up that last minute piece of equipment you need to be set for the year. Well that about wraps up my shopping experience. Now we just gotta wait for the goods to show up and then I get to go surprise Chris with all this awesome stuff. Well, well, well. That showed up faster than I thought it would. Nice job, guys. There has got to be nothing better than when a package arrives sooner than when you expected it to. Got my handy dandy knife here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, the fun of opening packages. Ooh. Who wouldn't be stoked to open up a box full of mountain bike awesomeness? Shirt, pants, helmet, gloves, knee pads, socks, and of course, these beautiful 510 shoes. Woo! All right, got everything ready to go. And now for the fun part, surprising Chris. I've been talking to him for the last week, telling him that I'm going to be filming a video I need him and another student Isaac's friends help with. And he was like, why would you ever want to film me? And I said, well, it's a beginner how to jump guide and I'm gonna give you tips on jumping. Anyway, he totally took it. So we're gonna go for a ride right now. But what Chris doesn't know is that this video is all about him. So we're gonna show up, start filming the video, and then that's when the fun's gonna happen. So let's get over there. Oh yeah, might need this. All right, so we're here, it's time for the challenge. I've got Isaac here to my left, Chris to my right, and the challenge is simple. We're just gonna find out who can listen to mountain bike jumping advice better, Isaac or Chris. What's your confidence level for jumping? Uh, not very high. Okay. I never work on it. Even though his confidence isn't very high, I have a feeling that you're going to be able to figure this out. Now, I, I told Isaac that there's some props and his isn't going to come into play later, but I actually have yours right now. You ready for it? Yeah. All right. Let's, let me grab it. Isaac, don't move. Your prop. Ready? Check this <laughs> out. We're going to set it right here. Okay. Isaac, you got to film him finding it, okay? See what's in there? Yes. Chris, we have... This is actually not a video about jumping at all. This is a surprise video for you. Thanks to Competitive Cyclist, 
we get to do a mountain bike makeover for you. Well, so okay. this is shorts, pants, mountain bike shoes, knee pads, everything you could possibly need for mountain biking. Wow. Yes, just for you, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, but the first... All right, Chris, so what we gotta do is we, uh, we're not gonna go riding until we get you totally kitted out looking good. How's awesome. that sound? Sounds good. Okay, let's do it. All right, Chris, this is a Bell 440. It's one that I'm wearing I like currently. It. I wear it all the time. We stole the sizes. Chris's mom helped us plan this out. Yes. So the nice thing about this is it is super ventilated. It's got MIPS, which is like a high protectant, like thing for crash protection. And you look cool, dude. How's yeah. it feel? Feels good. Good. Ooh, fancy. Uh, all right, this is first up is your Dekine shorts. These shorts are better than like the shorts that you're wearing, yeah. mainly because they're best fit for mountain bike, right? So your your the crotch of the pants is gonna be where you want it to. It's gonna be long enough. And with knee pads, it's gonna look super cool. So we got you the blue pair and a black Split. pair. So you need two pairs to match with your different shirts. So yeah. Dekine's got you covered there, but they also got you covered on shirts. All right, so this is your first jersey. It's just, it's a Dekine long sleeve one for the colder times. Yeah. Since like you're gonna it. be riding more since you're kitted out. But we also had to get you a short sleeve one for when it's nice. This has a wolf on it because you're gonna ride like a wolf once you wear these <laughs> yeah, clothes, <I> dude. <laughs> All right, to wrap up your Dekine things, we got you some Dekine gloves. Yeah. Um, you gotta have a kit that matches, Chris. So you want I your do. Dekine shorts to match your Dekine shirt to match your Dekine gloves for your Dekine life. Dekine, 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 Dekine. <laughs> perfect. It's a perfect fit every time. Not guaranteed for all people. Must order the right size. And of course, we had to get you some cool socks, dude. So Ooh. these are Sock Guys Trail Builder socks. So Chris, these uh, give you less hot spots and they wick your sweat better, which is really good. Always what I wanted to do is wick my sweat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chris, we got you some Cali knee pads. Chris, have you ever ridden with knee pads before? Never. And have you seen anybody else ride with knee pads? Yes. Yeah, me and Isaac and every sane person. <laughs> All every the good riders. Mountain biker. Yeah, every every good mountain biker rider wears knee pads. It's a just in case. Cali, these are super light, and that way you can have long pedals on the way up, and then long downs, and not feel like they get in the way, which is really good. Next up, we got a mountain bike tool because this is not just a mountain bike tool. It has a chain breaker, which a lot of tools don't have. I don't think I'll ever use that because oh, I won't know how. See, you say you won't use it, but when you're on the trail with a phone and one of those, you just Google how to break a chain. My next video: How to break a chain. <laughs> Note to self. Anyway, but that's gonna have you covered in your pack in case you awesome. need it. And last but not least, ooh, the cream of the crop. Chris, there's nothing that will transform your riding more than these shoes right here. Awesome. So 510 Free Riders, Chris, if you don't know, it's not just the grip for your pedals, it's also, it gives you a really stable platform yeah. so that you're gonna feel like you get better power output and horsepower. Your horsepower is gonna go up by 10. <laughs> all right, so this is all of it together. Shoes, socks, knee pads, shorts, gloves, a tool, jerseys, and of course, a helmet. All right, Chris, I told you to stand up, not lay down. Are you pretty excited? I'm very excited. I'm super stoked for you, dude. Thank you, Josh. Hey, don't say thank you to me. Thanks, competitive cyclists. All right, Chris, now we just, we just need to uh, transform you from your current outfit to your new one. All right, Chris, now you're all kitted out. How's it feel, dude? Feels really good. Did you, ever, did you ever think you would have actual mountain bike shoes, Never. knee pads? Nope. Dude, you're looking like a, a million bucks. Now we gotta go ride to see how it all feels and to see if you notice a difference, I think you will. And if you crash and the knee pads save you, yep. then that's that's worth the video alone. All right, Chris, Isaac. Let's get Sandy. Let's go ride. Let's go. Chris, you're super matchy matchy, man. Your backpack matches, your shoes. Even your blue bike to your shorts. All right, Chris, how was the uh, how was the ride up with all the new gear, dude? It feels so comfortable. It was, I love the shoes. Yeah, so what's the biggest thing you notice uh, difference on the shoes? A lot more grippy with the pedal, definitely. Yeah. That's probably the biggest thing. And they're just super comfortable. Awesome, dude. Well, now you have to uh, do the hard part, which is go jump and descend. You think you got it? Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Awesome, let's do it. Yep. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! All right, Chris got the jumps down. You ready for some proper trail riding? Yeah. It's gonna be good. All right, Chris, we're giving the gear a proper test now. Dude, you just gotta send it. Oh, he sent it. Oh yeah.
Yeah, Chris, sending it. Good ride. <laughs> nice job, Chris. Kidded Chris, that's your new nickname. All right, Chris, we did it. Great ride. Yep. Overall, how did it feel? Good, I'm back here alive. Yeah. Got a little some mud on the new gear, but. Do you think the new gear is worth it? Like you're like, two thumbs up, everybody should buy some stuff. Four thumbs up. <laughs> four, four thumbs up, awesome. Chris, thanks so much. You guys know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching me and Chris get out there and ride our bikes with a beautiful new kit. But make sure you get out there, ride your bike, and make sure you do it. Every day. Nailed it.